Now his observations revealed few things. First of it was that although the plants were of different genetic makeup, it did not happen that F1 generation had a medium thing, a in between situation. Like it did not happen that F1 generation was of medium height. It did not happen that. So that means the first conclusion is that genes do not mix. Another example, if you cross breed red flowered plant with white flowered, the F1 generation will not have pink flowers. Even if you do it with violet and white, it will not be light violet. It will be only violet flowers or red flowers. So no, no in between situation. Secondly, what he found that in F1 generation all were tall, which means only one generation, uh, sorry, one gene expressed itself. in the F1 generation. For example, in the F1 generation all plants were only tall, dwarf birdness was not expressed, right. On the basis of this he coined two terms, dominant and recessive. Dominant trait was that trait which expressed itself in F1 generation while recessive was the one that did not express, expressed in F1, not. On the basis of his observations, he concluded that in a monohybrid cross, only one trait, the dominant one appears in the F1 generation only the dominant trait expresses itself. And this he called law of dominance. This we can also express in a different way. The parent generation was tall and dwarf and the F1 generation was all tall, dwarfness did not express itself. So this is F1, this is P1 and on this basis this definition was concluded, right. Now another thing happened and that was in the F2 generation. What happened in F2 generation? When we self pollinated this, in the F2 generation we had four type of plants, pure tone, hybrid tone and dwarf. So actually there were three, right. This means that their dwarfness, though it did not express itself in the F1 generation, it did not disappear, it was very much there. Of course, it had been suppressed by the tallness, but it did not disappear. And that is the reason that it appeared in the F2 generation. On the basis of this, he said that when the hybrid plants or the, when the hybrid tall plant was self pollinated, then it showed the phenotypic ratio of 3 is to 1 and genotypic ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. Now what does that mean? That means the two traits remain together in a hybrid, but only thing is one remains suppressed and the other is expressed. And in the F2 generation, when the gametes are being formed, the traits separate from each other and are inherited separately. 